Hello, today is Tuesday, December 14th, during the third week of Advent. And today, the gospel starts off by saying, what is your opinion? And I just found that fascinating, that, that Jesus asked the chief priests and the elders what they thought. And he told them a parable about a man who had two sons, and he said to one, go out and work in the vineyard. And he said, oh, yeah, no problem, Pop, I'll go. And the other one said, no, I don't want to do that. It's too hot. Well, the first one actually never went. And the second one thought better of what he had done and said, you know what? I'm going to do what my father asked and actually did that. And so Jesus asked these chief priests and elders, which one, in your opinion, did what his father wanted? And of course, they say, the second one. He says, you know, John the baptizer came and preached, and people responded, but you didn't. You know, it's an amazing thing that here were these tax collectors and even prostitutes that listened to John and repented of their life. Why didn't you follow their example? Hmm. Interesting question. Because I think of all of the people who have been a part of my life, people of real faith, people who truly walked with the Lord every day. And I, I watched that. I saw that. And I was deeply impressed by that. The invitation is for me, for you, to do the same because we all know people of faith. And I remember back years ago, a parishioner telling me about his dad that he so admired. Great man, great man. And, you know, he was a man of deep and abiding faith. And, and the son, who was a father of nine, so he was in his middle years, said to his father, who was much older, you know, Dad, I can't tell you how much your life of faith impresses me, and I wish I could be like you. And his dad, a very wise man, said, you know what, son, when I was your age, I didn't have this kind of faith. It's something you learn." by trusting the Lord, no matter what the circumstances are. I appreciate the wisdom of Frank, because I still strive to learn from the ones who've gone before me. You know, in my opinion, they've been an example to me that's not that difficult to follow. They're not the big saints, but they're ordinary people who trusted God and walked with the Lord and found their joy in him. I hope during this Advent season, you and I together can become like those who've gone before us, people of deep and abiding faith, who walk with the Lord and find our joy in him. Have a great Advent. God bless.